Hello, I'm Mary Beth Thornton. I'm running for the office of First Selectman. I've been on the town council for the last eight years as the district representative in two. I've served as the majority leader, the chairman of the finance committee, and currently the minority leader of the Democratic Party. I'm a proud lifelong resident of Trumbull. As a child, I enjoyed the parks. I got a great education in the schools. And currently, I belong to many civic organizations and I volunteer for many different activities in our town. I'd like to take the next few minutes to tell you a bit more about myself and why I'm running for this office. I grew up on Laurie Road, which is just a stone's throw from Trumbull High School. This is Laurie Road, and there were no trees on either side of Laurie Road. Well, we used to go tobogganing down these hills in the wintertime. This is where I grew up, right here, 38 Laurie Road. Trumbull was a great place to live, a terrific neighborhood, education system, lifelong friends. It was an ideal childhood. Well, we moved to Trumbull and uh, moved next door to the Danielek family, a uh, very nice family. And Mary Beth was a teenager at that time. Well, Mary Beth is uh, certainly a, an honest person. I think that uh, her integrity uh, speaks for itself. She's been a, a real asset to the town and would continue to be. I attended St. Teresa's Elementary School, then Hillcrest Middle School, and then Trumbull High School. I'm a proud member of the class of 1976, the bicentennial year. Here we are at my old locker at Trumbull High. I have some great memories here. Trumbull High School was one of the best experiences of my childhood. It helped to shape me and give me the value system I have today. The reason that I'm giving back to Trumbull is these children, this kind of an education system, I'm hoping to get the same experience that I did here at Trumbull High School. Well, Mary Beth and I have known each other since high school, which was many, many years ago. Teenage girls have a lot of drama, and there was, there was always something going on, you know, in the group of friends. But Mary Beth could be counted on to bring some sort of resolution. She was calm, and she cared about people. Those qualities have carried through over time, and I think she's somebody that's always known who she is. I attended the University of Bridgeport, where I majored in art and biology. One of the most important things about the University of Bridgeport was meeting my husband, Scott who is now a surgeon at Bridgeport Hospital. When I met Scott, he was living in Fairfield. He grew up on Villa Avenue near the car wash. His car doors were held together with rope. Either you fix the, fix the car door in the hinge, or you take a piece of rope and you tie a piece of rope right around the entire car, and you kind of leave it as a bonnet. I think Mary Beth will make a spectacular first selectman. She has a tremendous work ethic. She's read the Board of Ed budget eight years in a row. She read line by line, taking notes. She has amazing life experience, having lived in Saudi Arabia. I had the opportunity to take a job in Riyadh at the King Faisal Specialist Hospital and Research Center. The Middle East was a terrific experience for me, and I spent four years there. Living away from this country, living away from this government, really puts into sharp focus how important it is to be a part of your government, to give back, to be a voice. I moved back to Trumbull, I decided to get deeply involved with my community, first as a volunteer in nonprofit organizations and civic organizations, and then becoming a part of our town government on the town council. Well, Mary Beth to me is what you'd call a mission politician as opposed to an ambition politician. She's all about doing good things for the town of Trumbull. The reopening of the Hillcrest Science Planetarium has been a great benefit to the students of Trumbull. Um, it has revitalized our science program. After Scott and I got married, we bought a house on Greenbrier Road and lived there for 13 years. My two girls were born and brought up in that house. We outgrew the house and decided to buy property on Cherry Gate Lane. We built the home of our dreams, designed it. In 2002, we moved in. But then, as sometimes happens, life threw us a curveball. Our house burned down. We'd lost everything. The volunteer firemen, who were dear friends of ours, actually came in, risked their lives to save our dog, who is, is still with us. We were so grateful for that. Then later, we found out the community had rallied for us. Everyone would come over, and they'd ask us if we were OK. And they'd give us things like clothes. And they yeah. were just trying to help really us nice. out. 
That's the spirit of Trumbull. That's what makes Trumbull special. During that time, my commitment to the town never wavered. I never missed a town council meeting. I continued to be committed to the needs of the people of the town as they pulled together for me. We're doing a little uh, fundraising with raffle tickets and donations. We have the Ace Foundation. Two kinds I'm a member of the board. Here. Trumbull is a great place to live. It has beautiful parks, it has a superb education system, it has people who care, it has leaders who want the right thing for Trumbull. This really is a very closely knit town. The past couple of years, we've been told this town is on the brink of catastrophe. I don't believe that. I believe this is a great town with great people. I believe the spirit of community is there. I believe that all this town needs is a leader that understands that and enjoys consensus and compromise and bringing diverse opinions together in a positive manner. This is the reason that I'm running for first selection in Trumbull.